Today at approximately 1.22 p.m., officers were dispatched to the area of 4600 Briar Park Drive, the large lodge apartments, regarding individuals hit by a vehicle. Two victims were located at the scene and deceased. The victims are two men in their 40s. The suspect in this case, a 27-year-old white female, appears to have purposely located the victims in a grassy area where the par in the parking lot uh, location, striking them both with her vehicle. At 1.32 hours, the suspect was apprehended a short distance from the scene without incident by LPD. Obviously, this, in this investigation is unfolding as we speak. Witnesses are being interviewed, and this will take some time to understand the circumstances of this incident. There is no ongoing public safety concern. Our hearts go out to the families and friends of the victims. If anyone has information, please contact the Lincoln Police Department at 402-441-6000 or Lincoln Crime Stoppers at 402-475-3600. I know it's not a lot of information, but right now it is an ongoing investigation and, and so we wanted to come before you and at least give you a little overview. At this time I can take some questions. Was there, you said there was a person apprehended? Are yes. you able to share uh, their name or charges? Not this time. I will tell you that um, right now she's being charged with two counts of second degree murder. Do you know if she knew the two men? At all? It's part of the investigation. We're still looking into that. And was she treated for any injuries? Uh, right now she was taken uh, to the hospital. Uh, and um, I don't believe there are any injuries. Do we know if the victims worked at the apartments, if they lived there, are you able to say any of that? Uh, not right now, we're still looking into that. Uh, we wanna make sure that the Mexican is, is notified, um, so we wanna be careful what we say at this point. Was the female, did she live there? Yes, she did. Has she been booked into jail? She is right now. Being booked into jail right now? Yes, okay. for two counts of second degree murder. Any idea what speed she was going to do this in a parking lot? No, not not at this time. You said, were, sorry, you said they were on a grassy area. Was it right by that playground? Is that where that was at? Um, I don't, I don't know at this time. And, and do you have a case number yet to like reference later? I can give that to you later. Do you, uh, were both of the victims pronounced dead at the scene or? Were at the scene. scene. Okay. Yes. What are the, the next steps? What will the following days look like in the investigation? Collecting as much video as we can from the area, looking into the history of the suspect, and also witnesses. I mean, obviously there were, there were an, a lot of witnesses um, to the incident. Um, Really, it's it's really about fact finding and then putting the pieces together. How long are you guys going to be out there this evening? As long as it takes to collect all that evidence. And did you say she had purposely hit them? Is that what? You said? Right now, in our investigation, yes, we believe we believe that that is what happened. And there are witnesses who saw what happened. Yes. Any other questions? Are you sharing the age of the suspect at this time? 27 years of age. What, at what timeline do you think we'll be releasing um, her name or identifying the, the victims? I know it takes time to, to notify people. Right, I hope to do it in the next couple of days. I mean, this is a, a little more complex than one would think. Um, we need to really find out the purpose, the reason why um, she did what she did, uh, but also make sure that we're correct on with with video and everything else, confirm what we suspect. Um, I know you're waiting to release that to notify next of kin, but yes. have you been able to identify the two men? Yes. You have been, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, you do, there is video that captured the incident as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Okay, thanks for coming in short notice, you guys. I appreciate it.